Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in this video, I will be showing you how to run Python in Visual Studio Code. So let's start the video. So guys, before running Python in VS Code, you have to first install Python. I have created separate video for this. I have given link in description box. You can watch. I've just started my CMD and I'm here showing you that I'm already having Python installed. So this is the latest version of Python which I'm having. So I'm closing this command prompt guys and now I am starting my Visual Studio code. I have installed Visual Studio code recently. So here and it's showing me welcome screen. So I am going to quickly close this welcome screen. If you want to know how to install VS code that link also I have given in description box. Now guys here you need to go to this tab that is extension tab. So here search for Python. And now here you can see it's showing different extension. Select this one Microsoft and click on this install. So guys, it will install a Python extension in your VS code using this. You can run your Python program. So after installing this Python extension, we will be installing one more extension. So if you want to run your code, whether it is Java code or Python code, you require that extension. So now I will be installing that extension. Before that, I'm closing this welcome screen and here I'm searching for code runner. So this extension is used for running your code. So simply here you can see this uh, code runner and click on this install and here just select trust publisher and install so guys my code runner is also installed now the next part i will be showing you how to create your python program and how to run it so now here after this extension you can just come to this folder tab and here guys you can see it's showing me option open folder you can select from this option or you can go to file menu and select open folder and guys you can browse whatever folder you want so here i'm just selecting one of the folder on my desktop so here i'm quickly creating one folder cs corner on desktop and i'm selecting this folder so just click on this select folder button so your folder is open over here you can see it's showing cs corner and it's showing me this message that trust the author of this files and folder so just check mark and click yes i trust the author so now your folder is open so guys now i'm going to click on this plus sign and here i'm going to create one python file so i'm giving name as hello and extension is dot py and you can see my hello dot py file has been created now in this i will be writing my python code so here simply i have given one print statement for printing some message so my code is done guys now i'm going to save this code so press ctrl s or you can go to file menu and you can select the option save okay so guys now code is done we will run this so here at the top you can see there is a play option code runner play option so just select this and you can see your output in output tab guys so here we have two tab output and terminal tab so here i'm getting my output in this tab not in terminal tab so if you are uh, writing any input statement and if you have not done configuration for run in terminal then you won't be able to accept input from user so that part also i'm showing in this video so for that what you can do you can go to this uh, settings option and here you can search for run in terminal and here in guys just select this code runner run in terminal so once you select this if you have any code input code then that will be uh, accepted on terminal tab so now here you can see i have just created uh, now you can see here i have just added few lines for accepting input from user and then guys i'm saving the code and i'm running it and guys you can see before it was not showing my output in terminal now it is showing my output in terminal it is accepting input also let me just print the accepted input so here again i'll type print statement and here it's printing on my terminal tab so this way you can accept input from user also so that's all guys for this video i conclude my video i hope guys by following my video you are able to successfully run your python program in VS code so guys if really my video has helped you don't forget to hit on like button if you have any query you can put 
in comment box and guys share my video to your friends guys i'm there on different social media you can join me i've given all my social media link in description box you can join my telegram channel for free pdf and notes and guys i have a coding channel in hindi also code with sunita certainly you can subscribe to that channel also and guys if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe it and don't forget to press bell icon to receive notifications from this channel thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye take care keep watching and keep learning guys